So uh, I finished building my uh, 1 over 28 OpenZ car and the last thing I, I had to do was to include a uh, 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 what I call a shelf. So instead of printing one, I went the lazy way. I bought one of AliExpress. It's a 98mm uh, Porsche. Uh, I don't know. I just got lazy, I suppose. Okay, anyway, let me show you how I did it. So the first thing was to figure out how exactly to connect it on. Uh, if you notice, I have already included the magnets here. So the magnets are the one that will then attach to the, to the body, right? So to kind of estimate how tall these are, I use a piece of blue tack, and then I stuck it down on all the magnet areas, right? Something like that. And then I, before this was installed, I put it down, I measured it, and then I 3D modeled the, the inverse of this. I pushed in the magnets, these are 5 by 1.5 I think, and then these are 5 by 5s. And then I super glue them in, and then once that is all done, uh, epoxy this down to the right place, and it just snaps on just like that. Right? So super easy to put on, you know, it's quite brainless and because uh, this is actually keyed slightly, uh, this is actually a really solid connection. So yeah, quick video to show you how I did it and I'm going to show you how it rides, uh, how it drives. It's actually pretty good now, now that there's the additional weight of the casing. So here it is plugged in, you can hear the gyro uh, going in. Right. So it does have a gyro from the GT5 uh, receiver and here's how it drives. So you can definitely drift. In fact, I think it drifts quite well, actually, even better than the first, uh, the first one that I made. Again, my skill level is not fantastic, but yeah, you can see it drives pretty well. And I think it looks much better than if I 3D printed my own version. Okay, so proof of concept and hope you guys enjoy the video.